asked Kinumab, effective against moderate to severe plaque psoriasis in adolescents. Psoriasis is a skin disease associated with red, itchy, and scaly patches. It can be observed in any age group, with one third of the patients having symptoms before 20 years of age. Safe, effective and convenient therapies should be provided for pediatric patients with moderate to severe psoriasis. Astkinumab is a human monoclonal antibody that has proven to be a safe and effective treatment for mild to moderate psoriasis in the adult population. The objective of this study is to determine the safety and efficacy of astkinumab in adolescent patients of age 12 to 17 years who had moderate to severe psoriasis. The study was a phase 3 multicenter, double blind, placebo controlled study. Dichotomous endpoints were analyzed using Cochrane Mantle Hunsell test. Continuous variables were analyzed using analysis of variance on the Van der Walden normal scores. A total of 110 patients who met inclusion criteria were included in the study and were randomized to different treatment groups. A total of 36 patients were treated with astkinumab standard dose, 37 patients were treated with astkinumab half standard dose, placebo crossover to standard dose, and half standard dose was performed in 18 and 19 patients respectively. The patients included in the study were 12 to 17 years old. The patients had a diagnosis of moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, with baseline psoriasis area, and severity index of more than or equal to 12, a physician's global assessment, of more than or equal to 10% body surface, involved with psoriasis for more than 6 months. In these patients, topical therapy had demonstrated poor control on the disease. Patients without psoriasis and patients with severe health conditions were excluded from the study. The patients were randomly assigned to receive astkinumab, half standard dose, or standard dose at weeks 0, 4, 16, and thereafter every 12 weeks through week 4. Clinical response was evaluated using the physician's global assessment and psoriasis area and severity index. The primary endpoint was determining the proportion of patients with a physician's global assessment of 0 by 1 at week 12, and secondary endpoints were the proportion of patients achieving at least 75% and 90% improvement in psoriasis area and severity index at week 12. The assessments were performed through week 52. At week 12, the proportion of patients achieving physicians' global assessment 0 by 1 and 0 were significantly greater when compared to placebo group with p-value less than 0.001 for both the groups. The proportion of the patients achieving psoriasis area and severity index of 75, 90, and 0 was significantly greater in half standard dose and standard dose groups compared with the placebo. Through week 12, 51.4% of patients in the half standard dose group, 44.4% in the standard dose group, and 56.8% in the placebo group reported more than one adverse events. The most common adverse events were nasopharyngitis and headache. In the patient population of 12 to 17 years, the standard astkinumab dose provided response comparable to that in adults with no unexpected adverse events through one year. Based on the above results, astkinumab appears to provide a beneficial and convenient treatment option for moderate to severe psoriasis in the pediatric population age of 12 years and older.